is my new favorite hangout. It's my empty van. Oh yeah. to another van video. This is actually like months and months after the video you're about to watch. <laughs> but I realized while I have a lot of clips of all the drama and everything, um, I don't actually have a lot of like explaining going on. So I just wanted to make a little intro for you. And so in all of my dreaming about getting a van and making it into a camper van and traveling all over the place and waking up in nature and like I thought a little bit about decorating the inside and how fun that's going to be. Not ever once did I think about or look forward to sanding and painting a vehicle. And... I started out, you'll see in the clips, I had no idea what I was doing. So I started out trying to hand sand the entire top of this van. I'm so happy this part of the project is over. Even though it's not perfect, it's, it's, it's good enough. And that part's over. And I'm so happy it's over. Like, this is the view of what she looks like on the top. All that rust. <laughs> Well, here we are on top of the van. I already sanded all this once, but it was like three weeks ago. And I had all kinds of sinus problems. The pollen was really high. I got a sinus infection. I was in bed for like a week and I was afraid to come outside. So I finally got up here today and everything that I sanded previously has re-rusted. So I'm re-sanding and it's very annoying. But that van's for sale. Did you hear it? It's for sale. I gotta get rid of this thing. Breaking all apart up here. So I've been up here for a while. I've gotten a lot of it sanded with that electric sander. And now I just have to go in like in these things. And it makes a mess. So I actually brought up this blower so I can blow. many people creep by here and I can feel them watching me because I mean I'm up on this van I mean this is the roof of my house I'm pretty high up here nice view let's see if I can get this on camera I've been taking a piece of sandpaper and this wooden pencil and that's how I've been getting this stuff have this flat piece that I can use for parts that I don't need to get in a corner corner just like right here and it's working pretty well too 
that again. I already sanded this and this is new rust. So that's kind of why it's coming up so easily too. It was not so easy to get it off the first time. So I'm gonna finish this like this week, get it painted and get it done. Today, I'm painting the roof, at least priming it. This has been, so I told you guys I had to sand it a second time. It gets worse. So I sanded it a second time after letting it sit outside for all those weeks. That was stupid of me. I didn't even think about it. So I spend all day sanding this thing. I mean, I am out in the sun. I get sunburned. I'm up on top of this hot van for hours. I finally get everything sanded except for like a few little details. So my plan was to get up early the next day, work out those few little details before it got hot, and then get up early today and paint. So yesterday I get up and I'm like, I don't need to get up early. Like I have so little to do up there. So I'm lounging around all morning and then I finally go outside and get on top of the van and it's rusted again. The night before I hosed it off because there's so much dust and dirt and junk on it. And the water never dried, so it was just sitting on top of the van even when I went up there the next morning. So all day yesterday I was sanding. My point is, no matter if it's ready or not, I'm painting this thing right now because I'm not sanding it again. So yeah, even if I have to re-sand it and do more work on it later, I've got to get this covered up so the whole roof doesn't rust. This is not good. So oh, this paint is peeling and I picked a piece off and look at the rust. I am so over this. It just never ends, I feel like. I didn't even realize this van had rust on it when I bought it. Check the top of your vans before you buy them, people. I'm nervous, but I'm also starting to not care. Let's find another drop cloth. different drop cloths because of my because I paint all the time and then on the other parts I'm gonna cut open some trash bags and do it that way because because we wide ways where are the good scissors this 
is a frustrating part of this project and I am ready for it to be over. I am O-V-E-R-I-T. Over it. of it done. Thank you.